You know who come to do What religion do you follow, sir? What religion do you follow, sir? You know who come What religion do you follow, sir? One of these days, Jesus, you come to do the judgment today. If you fool the Jesus, you get salvation. If you still Sir, what religion do you follow? You don't get nothing. What religion do you follow? I study the Bible. I study the Quran. Four hundred and seventy years. Which verse in the Quran tells us to kill babies? Which verse in the Quran tells us to kill babies? Four hundred and seventy years. Which verse in the Quran tells us to kill babies? I tell you, in the Bible is first Samuel chapter fifteen, verse three. Tell us about the Quran now. Jesus said, You're quoting the Bible. Quote the Quran. Where are we told to kill babies? False Jesus and false prophet. Mohammed is a false prophet. He's talking about Mohammed. <laughs> Frankly, I don't know who he's talking about. I don't know who Mohammed is. Yeah, maybe he's talking about somebody in a moment and he's confused with his his English uh, literature. I when can tell pray, he is not very do. proficient in you the English language. However, if he was proficient in the English he language, the the he tongue, would know. And he would <laughs> war, war, war. He would he would be aware. We do not believe. We do not believe that the prophets don't war. make mistakes. We the Holy Spirit. This is the man who was who was possessed by the Holy Spirit. Look at that. He was sitting there. Hey. Now he's standing. I suggest That's the holy, that's the unholy Moses. spirit. Making it up. Moses. So he's a lying. Moses. He's a liar. Moses. He's talking from because his ass. It be anything. Mashallah. Ladies and gentlemen, he is a Christian, he is unable to defend his faith. Had I known he was a Christian, I would have engaged with him. Sir, would you like to have a conversation? So ladies and gentlemen, what we believe about the prophets is that the prophets are mahfuz. Allah has preserved the prophets. Any mistake that the prophet makes, Allah corrects that mistake. They are not left to pass away with a mistake because they are leaders. They are prophets. Yeah. I asked the gentleman over here, and even though he is, he is. I don't, I, frankly, I don't know what he's saying. I don't know what he's speaking, but. Uh, I have a husne dhan about him. I'm sure he's a nice person. He's just been possessed by the unholy spirit. Yeah? The unholy spirit is inside him. But it's nice to meet you, sir. How are you? I'll see you tomorrow, sir. sir. Nice handbag, sir. Uh, the, the Bible actually has uh, 69 books. And Gangistan. No, 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 no. 66 books for the Protestants, 73 books for the Catholics. What Bible do you follow? What? No, but you know, you know what the problem is. Sometimes when we don't engage, people think that we haven't made the effort. I want people to know, yeah, I want people to know that, I'm at least making the effort to engage with him. Point, no with respect as well. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, not all Italian people are like this. Italy, Italy is a fantastic country. I love pizza, I love pasta. I occasionally like lasagna. I'm sure he's a nice man. He's just having a bad day. Yeah, so that's fine. Does anybody else have a legitimate question? pertaining um, Islam yeah. and Muslims. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Of course, of course, of course. Does anybody have a legitimate question about Islam and about Muslims? I agree with everything you say about Israel. Anybody who can't see what's going wrong with what Israel is doing is seriously whatever it might be. That's, that's exactly the point, yeah. You don't have to be Educated to see what Thank you. And you're Christian, by the way, yeah? Um, I'm a humanist. You're a humanist. Okay, I believe in a God. So this humanist is saying, just for the uh, purpose of the crowd, this I'm humanist, not I'm not yeah, he's not religious. He says he's a humanist. He says you have to be human. 
non-religious to be disgusted by disgusted. yeah by what's going on currently in Gaza. What I want to ask you is what what are your thoughts of us going in Bangladesh at the moment? The Hindus are being treated absolutely terribly. You know this. So. Well, so here's the thing. I was going to make a video. Yeah, I was going to say that again. You're not going to give me any justification. Well, you need to listen to what I'm going to say before you arrive to a conclusion. You know, you can't tell me what to say before I've even said it. Uh, I've been looking and following the Indian news very closely. I have been doing for the past five years. Yeah, and I know the news that's coming out. It's coming from Republic World Channel. It's coming from NDTV and these channels and there are a few other channels as well yeah APP news as well APP yeah ABP news as well yes and what they're doing is they are completely misrepresenting what's going on there indeed there are certain Hindus that have you know been harmed and Bangladeshis well, to say no Hindus have been harmed, I think would be unfair. Okay, I'm just trying to get you to acknowledge, you acknowledge what, what we're saying. But if you let me finish, rather than just to get me to uh, say a few things that you want me to say. If you have faith in me, hopefully I will give you a complete answer that you'll be satisfied with. Have faith in everybody. Well, well have faith in me as well. I can't have faith anymore. Yeah, yeah then have faith in me at, for now. Yeah, so there were certain Hindus, of course, that have been caught up in the violence. And, of course, they've been hurt. Overwhelmingly, when it comes to the news stories that I've seen, the Bangladeshis have been uh, protecting the Hindus, have been protecting the Christians. For them, the issue is preservation of their country that now is being literally in no man's land because they, are, they had a very special relationship with India. Because Bangladesh is a buffer between India and China. So for Bangladesh to be unstable, it's very problematic for India because China is very close with Pakistan. They can't afford Bangladesh to be close with China as well. Because of this, there are a lot of raw agents that are flooding Bangladesh and doing some, uh, you know, some operations within. Are you aware of what raw agency is? What's raw agency? You don't know. You don't know. Yeah, that's why I'm telling you. Let me just finish the point. I wanted to show you that many people that will be talking about the subject don't know. RAW are the secret service of India. Yeah, they are like the MI6 of India. They are like the ISI of India. They've been flooding the borders because, sorry? That's why I said, they're like the ISI of Pakistan. Yeah, so they have been flooding because the aim is to regroup Bangladesh into an ally. They do not want to use Bangladesh. It is not within their interests. So I implore you when you go home, look at the other news, especially from the Bangladeshis themselves, but it's unfortunate because they're not subtitled. You have to know the language and then you will know. But the Indian... Have you seen some of the videos? I have seen the videos. Have you seen and they've been... And look at the community you notes. A person would be very distressed. Of course. But also the good thing about X is they have something called community notes and many of those have been yeah many of those have been debunked so elon musk is good for something he's good for something he's good for something you know when they when they the modi knocked down the babri babri masjid yes, yes. 